We are here today to celebrate the love which Erica and Dion have for each other and give recognition to their decision to commit their lives and accept each other totally. Your marriage begins with the vows and promises you speak to one another today. Dion, when I look at you today and think about the past five years, it is no surprise that we are standing here together to make this commitment. From the moment we met, I was drawn to you, not just because of your bright blue eyes and sexy accent, but also because of your spirit. So fun-loving, easygoing, and ready for anything. All qualities that were in such contrast to my own personality. We fell right into step with each other, and this brought me such comfort and confidence in our new relationship as it grew. If I had written a list of qualities in my dream man, it could not have matched you more perfectly. The amount of laughter you have brought is cemented in the memories of mischief and adventure, and of my cheeks hurting from laughing so long. The anticipation and excitement of a lifetime together is built on those thousands of memories. And I look forward to every day wondering what it will bring us as we face it together. The promise of a lifetime of that feeling is why I so easily say I do today. You are the person with whom I am most completely myself. You are the person that I never want to disappoint. You are the person that I can't picture a future without. You are my person. Today I know without a doubt that your integrity and honor as a man will never fail, that your love will always be given entirely and without reservation. I know that you will be by my side with strength, courage, through anything that life has in store for us. It is with this certainty in you and our love that I wholeheartedly make these vows. I vow to always love you the way you love to be loved, deeply, affectionately, and with unlimited cuddles and tiny kisses on your face. I vow to never stop growing with you so that our life is filled with newness, anticipation of the next adventure, and curiosity that leads us down exciting paths. I vow to see myself through your eyes and rise to the occasion every day in an effort to share my best self with you forever. I vow to love you easily and uncomplicated for the rest of my life. It's unbelievable to think that we will be standing here today. Five years ago, neither one of us had this on the cards of our lives. But today, I wouldn't know how, life, how to live life without you by my side. <clears throat> I question how I got so lucky that you chose me out of every other fish in the sea but I thank you that you did, and I'm so happy that you're mine. Up until now, I thought moving over to the US was the best decision in my life, as it led me to you. But I now know for sure that marrying you is the best decision of my life, as I get to live out my dream. One of my favorite qualities about you is how incredibly intelligent you are. How you, how you always speak your mind. You never shy away from a debate, especially when it becomes to, comes to your beliefs. It's very well on. You really are the perfect package, beauty and brains. You have taught me so much in my life and what's most important, and that is family. The love that you have for your family is infectious. And I know that I'm a better son, brother and friend because of you. How you are with your nieces and nephews is incredible and it really warms my heart. And from time to time, it makes me wonder what if. I stand here today in front of you and all of our family and friends to vow to you that I vow to always respect you and any decisions that you make. I truly believe with that respect, nothing else will work. I vow to always treat you as my equal, even though you are smarter, braver and a tougher person than I am. I vow to always stand by your side and always have your back no matter what even if you're in the wrong, which is never I know. <clears throat> I vow to always do my best to make you laugh and keep that amazing smile on your face. I vow to never make you feel insecure or unloved. I vow to always make an effort for us to learn, not only as individuals, but as a couple. 
I vow to love you with all that I have today, tomorrow, and every day for the rest of our lives. I truly believe in the line in that song that as you walk down the aisle, that I was made for you and you for me. I love you. Do you, Dion, promise to love Erica and respect her, to share your life and your dreams, to build with her a home that is a place of love, happiness, commitment, and growth? I do. Do you promise to be a companion to Erica in all her successes and failures, her happiness and sadness, to always give to her your unwavering support, and above all else, the freedom to be herself? I do. Do you, Erica, promise to love Dion and respect him, to share your life and your dreams, to build with him a home that is a place of love, happiness, commitment, and growth? I do. Do you promise to be a companion to Dion in all his successes and failures, his happiness and sadness, to always give to him your unwavering support, and above all else, the freedom to be himself? I do. Erica, I give you this ring. With all that I am and all that I ever will be. With all that I am and all that I ever will be. Wear it and know that I love you. Wear it and know that I love you. With this ring, I marry you. With this ring, I marry you. Dion, I give you this ring with all that I am and all that I ever will be. Wear it and know that I love you. Wear it and know that I love you. With this ring, I marry you. With this ring, I marry you. Will you honor and respect one another and seek to never break that honor? We will. Will you share each other's pain and seek to ease it? We, we will. will. Will you share the burdens of each so that your spirits may grow in this union? We, we will. will. Will you share each other's laughter and look for the brightness in life and the positive in one another? We will. Dion and Erica, in the presence of your loved ones, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Dion, you may kiss your bride. It is my pleasure to introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Dion and Erica Harrison. When we learned that Erica and Dion had decided on Hawaii as their hitching post, we were all thrilled to visit the marvelous destination. But in reality, as happy as we were to be going to Hawaii, the real reason we're here is because we love them. Our fondest memories of, of as kids was the amount of time that we spent together. We would walk everywhere, which was which was funny because everybody used to say, "Why don't you walk everywhere? Why don't you just catch the bus?" But I think it was the time that we spent together. Eric, he put the joy on his face and me in his life. I don't know Erica that well, but I know my brother. And I can say that your commitment to each other over the past years, I'm sure that your love and dedication will continue to grow into this marriage. I once read somewhere that the key to a good speech is to keep it short, sober, and grateful. <laughs> now I'm sure you'll know that I've had a wee little bit to do it. <laughs> But I promise I'll be better on the other two. <laughs> Eric and I are so grateful that you could all be here today to help celebrate our special day. We know that having a destination ready is a lot to ask for, especially when it is this far away from home. For this, we feel extremely blessed and loved. Can we please all raise a glass and toast to the best human I've ever met and the one that I will love and cherish every day for the rest of my life. Across the mountain 